Hello guys, welcome back to Raycom TV, where today we're going to be taking a little look at a brilliant solution to a global issue. The use of single-use batteries is being heavily discouraged throughout a variety of industries and the film, TV and broadcast industry is no different at all. The solution is quality rechargeable batteries and then dependable recharging solutions. There's a range of technologies out there with their associated chargers, but which technology is best? Well, a good starting point are intelligent chargers that allow the use of charging multiple different kinds of battery and multiple different sizes of battery at the same time. So let's take a look at the N-Series range of chargers from ISDT that we are now stocking here at Raycom. They're a brilliant charging solution with really flexible options. So we have three in the studio with us. We have the N8, the N16 and the N24. Really simple naming system. The number just denotes how many batteries you can place into the unit. So they are flexible chargers that can really assist you with your workflow because they can take different types of chemical batteries and also different sizes and charge them all at the same time, whether that's nickel metal hydride, NICAD or lithium ion. So the N-Series chargers can take either a AA or AAA size battery and you haven't got to worry if you have got a selection of different sizes and different types of battery, stick them all in the charger, don't worry about it, it will figure it out for itself, it will know what's been plugged into it and work it all out for you, you can get on with your day. So let's get hands on with a charger. First thing you'll notice when you pick one up, really robust construction yet lightweight. The N24, the biggest charger, only weighs 810 grams, which is phenomenal for its sort of size and construction as well. Really lightweight, so if you are traveling with them, absolutely ideal. So we have an N16 plugged in here. Power comes from one of two ways. If it's an N8, it's just into a USB-C. N16 or N24 have their own dedicated power supply. All of the chargers have that USB-C port though for future firmware upgrades. Now, what you'll notice, if I take a battery and I plug it into our N60 in here, you'll see along the top row for the batteries that are in, there is an LED charging status icon. So at a glance, you can see the status of the batteries you have plugged in. But the most informative part, the most fun part of the charger, if you like, we have a really informative digital screen here where we can dive into a load of menus, various different options, and actually interrogate each battery individually. All of a sudden, your humble charger, mm, it's become quite an interesting part of your kit. So what we're gonna do, let's jump in, have a look through those menu icons, menu options as well, and see what we have available to us and actually what makes these ISDT chargers so fantastic. Right then, so we have our N16 here. Let's take our power supply get it all plugged in, screen jumps into life, and we are met with a few bits of information before we get started of plugging batteries in. You can see what it's currently set to, the mode, at the moment it's on auto, the model of charger is N16, and the various modes it's set to, so it's power, and then it's set to charge mode, you can see that down the bottom, but we'll get to that in a minute. Before we plug any batteries in, we want to adjust the settings to make sure we're all ready to go for our charging regime. So we have three touch controls here on these buttons. They are just touch buttons though. The smaller dots, top and bottom, are just scroll up and down. Select is the larger dot in the middle. So if we press and hold that to take us into the setting menu, First of all, you can see the task we've currently got ourselves set to. It's on charge at the moment. If you tap on the select there, we've got charge, discharge, activation, and then an analysis of your batteries. We want to charge today, so that's what we're going to select. Scrolling down, you can select your battery type. Now, at the moment, it's on auto, so when you put a battery in, it will detect what kind of battery it is and apply the correct sort of charging procedure for that battery or you can just individually select the type of battery you want to charge. So you can go in there, we've got things like NIMH, lithium ion, Eneloop batteries, but we're just gonna leave it on auto for now. You can enable and disable activation charge as well. And then you have an input power limit between 36 watts and 10 watts. And you can adjust the current if you want to. The backlit, uh, well, the backlight for the screen, if you select that, you can change it, just scroll between low, high, and then middle as well. There is a buzzer if you did want that to come in. So if we select that to high, it's just when you are scrolling through, it will make an audible tone. And then high, middle, low, and off. Change the language, self-check as well. About the unit, so it's serial number, etc. And then from there, go all the way down. You just go 
back. And that brings us to this main screen. So let's get ourselves some batteries plugged in. So we have a selection of Eneloop batteries here. If I get these plugged in. So you can see as soon as we got the batteries in, it's jumped into life and we've got illuminated numbers on the various battery segments we've got it set up in. At the moment, those lights are orange, showing that the batteries are charging. They will jump to green as well, so you, at a glance you can see if the battery is charged or not. Now as soon as we've done that, you can see on this left-hand column of the main menu that it's jumped to life to show us. At the moment, we're on number 13, that's highlighted down here. The state of charge of the battery as well. And then we've got various bits of information here to run us through. So the power the battery is charging at, its percentage of charge as well, how long it's been charging for, and various other features such as the voltage of the battery. And then you actually get a graph as well to show you the charge status of that battery over time. Things like the voltage currents in there as well. We can then select the various batteries by using that up and down arrow. So we can jump from 13 to nine. You can see it adjusts on the side here. And that again is color coded with the icons up the top. So orange shows it is currently charging. Those will go green once that battery is charged and will appear with a big green tick. If the sort of status bar is pink, it means the battery is discharged. If it's blue, it means it's analyzing. And then if it's on purple, that's the activation mode. So the color here, orange is charge, says it down here. The colour shows you at a glance which mode your unit is currently set to. So another great feature you can see down here, we've got our battery resistance and also our temperature. So you can monitor if batteries are getting too hot. You see that graph's now building, that level of charge building up. We are at 99%, 35 milliamps charge currently, but then that will increase or decrease throughout the day, but you can just keep an eye on it if you want to. So the quickest way at a glance though to see the state of charge or status of all of the batteries if you have got a full rig in there is to tap that select button. So not hold this time, just tap and that would bring you to this screen where you have an overview of every single slot in the charger and you can at a glance see look at the moment we're all at 99% charge on all four of our batteries plugged in and then you will have again colour coded between the different batteries. So those are the N-series chargers from ISDT, a fantastic solution for your charging needs that will really help you with your workday, but also help you do your little bit for the planet. So really, what more could you ask for? Now, these are all available at raycom.co.uk, so we'll link the product page for these down below in the description for you. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please do hit that massive red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. We'd love to have you back along with us, and we will speak to you soon. Take care.